Hi everyone. Today we talk about compound interest. Compound interest or compounding interest is interest calculated on the initial principal and which also include all the accumulated interest of the previous period of a loan or a deposit. Or in other words, we can say that it is interest on interest. Value of any entity at the end of the period equals to the value of an entity at the beginning of the period, the whole multiplied by 1 plus growth rate divided by 100 raised to the power time. P0 denote value of entity at the beginning of the period, PT denote value of the entity at the end of the period, growth rate denote by R and the number of time period denote by T. Using the concept of compound interest or interest on interest, we can calculate the amount or the future value by the formula A equals to P multiplied by 1 plus I raised to the power N, where A stands for amount or return or the future value at the end of the period and P stands for principal or investment or the present value at the beginning of the period, I stands for the interest per period and N stands for number of periods and we also calculate compound interest by using the formula amount minus principal where i equals to r upon m and n equals to m into t r is rate of interest in decimal t is time in years and m is number of times interest compounded in a year And if we want to calculate present value at the beginning of the period, we can use formula P equals to A, the whole multiplied by 1 plus I raised to the power minus N. In this example, we want to find out compound amount and the compound interest of Ps 1,20,000 invested for 5 years at a rate of interest 8% compounded annually. In this question, principal that is P, 1,20,000, rate of interest 8%, this implies 0.08 and time 5. And M stands for number of times interest compound in a year because interest compounded annually, so M equals to 1. Now we calculate I, which is equals to R upon M, and N, which is M into T. Because in this example, m equals to 1, so i equals to r and n equals to t. In this example, we want to calculate amount and the compound interest. We know that amount equals to principal multiplied by 1 plus i raised to the power n. In this question, principal is 1,20,000, i is 0 0.08 and the n is 5. By inserting all this value into the formula, we'll get an amount of rupees Compound interest is equals to amount minus principal. In this question, we already calculated amount 1,76,319.37 and the principal is given 1,20,000. The difference is this two give us compound interest and that is equals to 56,319.37. One more example on the compound amount and the compound interest. In this example, we want to find out compound amount and the compound interest 
of rupees 80,000 invested for six years at a rate of interest 8 percent compounded quarterly. In this question, the rate of interest compounded quarterly. In this example, principal that is P 80,000, rate of interest 8%, this implies 0.08 and time is 6 and M equals to 4 because interest compounded quarterly. Now we calculate I, I equals to R upon M, R is 0.08 and M is 4, so this implies I equals to 0.02 and M equals to M into T m is 4 and t is 6 so multiplying by both we will get n equals to 24. In this example we want to calculate amount and compound interest. Amount we know that equals to principal the whole multiply by 1 plus i to the power n. p is 80,000, i is 0 0.02 and n is 24. By inserting the value of p, i and n into the formula we will get amount of rupees 1,6,74.9. And compound interest is amount minus principal. In this example, amount is 1,28,674.98 and principal is 80,000. The difference of these two give us compound interest of rupees 48,674.98. How to calculate 1 plus r whole raised to the power n using simple calculator? If you have a calculator of 12 digit, you can simply calculate 1 plus r whole raised to the power n. Now I will tell you the steps involved in that. Write 1 plus r in your calculator. For example, if the rate of interest is 8%, write 1 plus 0.8 into your calculator. Then press multiply only once. And press equal n minus 1 times. For example, if you want to calculate 1.08 to the power 5, n is 5 and n minus 1 is 4. So press equal 4 times. Now I will also tell you how to calculate 1 plus r whole raised to the power minus n using simple calculator. If we have a calculator of 12 digit, how to calculate 1 plus r raised to the power minus n. Now I will tell you the steps involved in that. Write 1 plus r in your calculator. For example, if the rate of interest is 8%, write 1 plus 0.8 into your calculator. Then press multiply only once. Press equal n minus 1 times. For example, if we want to calculate 1.08 raised to the power minus 5, here n is 5, n minus 1 is 4, so press equal 4 times. And in last, press divide and equal, and you'll get the result. In this example, we want to find out present value of rupees 150,000 due in 7 years at 6% rate of interest compounded annually. In this example, 
amount is given 150,000, rate of interest 6%, this implies 0.06 times 7 years because interest compounded annually, so here m equal to 1 and we want to calculate p and i equals to r upon m. Here r is 0.06 and m is 1. That's why i equals to r and which is equal to 0.06 and n equals to m into t. Here m is 1 and t is 7, so n equals to 7. We know that present value equals to amount multiplied by 1 plus r whole raised to the power minus n. In this example, amount is 1,50,000, rate of interest 0.06 and n is 7. Inserting the value of a, r and n into the formula will get present value of rupees 99,758.57. In this example, we want to calculate time period. How long will it take for rupees 1 lakh to amount 1,99,256 rupees 26 pesa if it is invested at the rate of 9% compounded annually? In this example, amount 1,99,256.26, principal value 1 lakh, rate of interest 9%, this implies 0.09, m is 1 because interest compounded annually and we want to calculate time period. i equals to r upon m, here r is 0.09 and m is 1, so i equals to 0.09 and n equals to m into t, m is 1 and t is unknown, so 1 multiplied by t is equal to t. We know that amount equals to principal multiplied by 1 plus i whole raised to the power n. In this example, amount 1,99,256.26, principal 1 lakh i 0.9 and n equals to t. After inserting the value of p, a, i and n into the formula and making calculation we will find out 1 plus 0 0.9 raised to the power t equals to 1.9925626. In order to equate, we will find out with the help of calculator 1.09 raised to the power what is equals to 1.9925626. 1.09 raised to the power 8 is equals to 1.9925626. So we can say that p equals to 8 years. In this example, we want to find out annual rate of interest. At what annual rate of interest compounded yearly? 2,50,000 rupees will become 4,98,140 rupees and 66 pesa in 8 years. In this example, amount 4,98,140.66 p principal 2,50,000 rupees time 8 years m 1 because interest compounded yearly and we want to calculate r. Here i equals to r upon m because m is 1 so i equals to r and n equals to m into t. m is 1 T is 8, so n equals to 8. We know that amount equals to principal multiplied by 1 plus i whole is the bar n. In this example, amount 4,98,140.66, p equals to 2 lakh for 50,000, i equals to r, and the n equals to 8. Inserting the value of a, p, i, and n in the formula will get and 1 plus r equals to eighth root of 1.9926264. In order to calculate eighth root of 1.9926264, write 1.9926264 in your calculator 
and press boot three times, you will get 1.09. And R equals to 1.09 minus 1, that is equals to 0 0.09. This implies rate of interest is 9%. In this example, a person deposited rupees 1 lakh in a fund at the rate of 8% interest compounded semi annually. After 3 years, rate of interest was decreased to 7% compounded quarterly. And after 2 more years, the rate of interest further decreased to 6% compounded monthly. The money was withdrawn at the end of 10th year. Find the amount. In this question, the period of 10 years, interest changes 3 times. In this example, principal rupees 1 lakh, interest compounded for the first 3 years at the rate of 8% compounded semi annually, so R1 is 0 0.08, T1 is 3, M1 is 2. Therefore, I1 equals to 0 0.04 and M1 equals to 6. For the next 2 years, rate of interest is 7% compounded quarterly. Therefore, R2 is 0.07, T2 is 2 and M2 is 4. Therefore, I2 is 0.0175 and N2 is 8. For the last 5 years, the rate of interest decreased to 6% compounded monthly. So here, R3 is 0.06, T3 5 and M3 equals to 12 and hence, I3 equals to 0 0.005 and N3 is 60. We know that here amount equals to principal multiplied by 1 plus I1 whole raised to the power N1 multiplied by 1 plus I2 whole raised to the power N2 and multiplied by 1 plus I3 whole raised to the power N3. Insert value of P and I1, I2, I3 and N1, N2, N3 in the formula. After calculation, we'll get an amount of rupees 1,96,082 rupees and 61 pesa.